My name is Ty Mares, owner and founder of Legacy Force Management LLC in Monta Vista, Colorado. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about what we do as a forestry and logging business. So we're what's called uh, low impact uh, forestry and logging. And what that entails is the use of, uh, special, of low uh, impact equipment. And low impact equipment means equipment uh, that has a low impact on the land uh, when we're thinning uh, the forest uh, and doing our uh, forest management work. Uh, a lot of what we do is uh, wildfire mitigation, uh, but we're so much more than that. Um, we're specialized in uh, forestry, uh, forestry services as well. Um, you know, timber sell, uh, design, prep, uh, selling uh, timber for landowners uh, within the San Luis Valley. Uh, I'm a professional forester. I do uh, forest assessments, forest health, health assessments uh, to determine, uh, you know, uh, what the forest needs in terms of uh, treatments uh, to address uh, certain uh, problems uh, such as root rot, uh, fungal decay, uh, like cankers uh, within trees. A lot of t these trees are, you know, junky and, uh, you know, and they are just adding fuel to the uh, you know the forest uh, for potential catastrophic wildfire and that's a big problem uh, because as you can tell behind me it's very dense you know we're working in the jungle today as we're calling it um, and that's a uh, um, you know very challenging you know uh, areas like this for what we do can be kind of challenging because it's slow and it's methodical but we have found out that because of how we do things uh, with the use of chainsaws caps and winches forestry winches, um, ATV, farm tractor, uh, small uh, yarder, uh, PTO yarder, um, you know, forestry winch for a tractor, so on and so forth. Those kind of, those kind of tools, that's what we do uh, or use to get the job done. And, uh, you know, that requires, um, you know, some advanced skill in a lot of ways, but we like, you know, the fact that it, it this is a challenge and we like the fact that there is additional skill because what we do, I think is just so important because we address the need to treat private lands within the San Luis Valley. And that's a huge thing, especially in the eastern part of the San Luis Valley, where there is a lot of private lands that originally um, or originated as Spanish land grants, but then um, as, you know, um, you know, we moved west and, you know, uh, we, uh, Colorado became part of the United States and settlers moved here and so on and so forth. Um, you know, now, you know, there's kind of, uh, three major subdivisions within the area, Forbes, uh, Park, Wagon Creek, Zapata, uh, there's the San Gregorio de Cristo ranches. Uh, we don't really service that, uh, subdivision. Our big three are Zapata, Forbes Park, and Wagon Creek. Um, and the reason for that is because, um, Forbes Park in 2018 suffered um, immensely uh, with the uh, Spring Creek fire. They, uh, 350 homes were lost, 108, 108,000 acres were burned uh, a lot in within the vicinity of Levita Pass um, between Walsenburg and uh, Fort Garland, Colorado. Um, pretty big deal, um, you know, not easy. Uh, you know, they're still trying to. Uh, recover from the fire up there they've had a lot of problems with uh flash flooding uh due to um hydrophobic soils and and uh, complete uh loss of uh timber uh stands and uh you know so that's what we're trying to prevent you know by mitigating it is um you know a, a total destruction of the forest um you know in terms of you know stand replacing fire you know fire is a part of our natural ecosystem here in Colorado and uh, you have different fire regimes or uh, it intervals that fire historically had burned but because of fire exclusion due to human development and uh, and human activity uh, you know now we're kind of faced with a uh, challenging problem of trying to keep our forest healthy and thinned and uh, keep intact that structure and function that holds them together and that's what we do you know so um part of what we do is being uh forced 
uh, management service company. You know, I'm a professional forester. Um, I graduated from CSU, which my, in my, with my bachelor's in forest management. Uh, and, uh, you know, we founded the business in 2019 and, uh, ever since we've been uh, pretty busy because, uh, like us, there are a lot of people that believe that, uh, believe in the need of our work, our services, so on and so forth. And, um, you know, it's huge. It is uh, definitely huge, but, uh, you know, here, um, you know, where we're at in this bot subdivision, big, you know, a lot of, a lot of challenging. And, you know, this is not, um, you know, work for, you know, just the average Joe Schmo because this, you know, some of these trees are pretty dangerous to deal with. And, you know, there's a higher level of skill involved when it comes to, uh, reducing fuels in these kind of forests. Um, and so, um, having the professional expertise of a forester, you know, I'm able to understand and look at a forest and uh, get the idea of what um, it should look like, you know, based, you know, based on land, ma uh, landowner objectives or other uh, management objectives, which is called uh, desired future condition or DFC. Uh, and DFC um, is a big part of uh, being a forester um, in terms of what we're looking at is what we want to see the, you know, what do we want the forest to look like? You know, how do we want it to function? You know, so, you know, the structure, you know, how do we want the forest to look like? You know, the function is like, how um, does it do in terms of uh, wildlife habitat, timber production, uh, so on and so forth. Um, you know, uh, what, what are we managing for? You know, and, and primarily what we manage for is obviously catastrophic wildfire, but we also improve wildlife habitat. We improve uh, timber production. Uh, we improve uh, recreation uh, aesthetics. Um, you know, um, a healthy forest mean healthy watersheds, you know, and treating the areas that we can within the most critical at-risk areas uh, for forest health and catastrophic wildfire is our primary calling and uh, what our idea is to do uh, these services and then we take the timber from these services and then we had, you know utilize them and turn them into uh, various forest products uh, firewood post pole saw timber uh, for uh, rough cut lumber uh, things of that sort um, we're no we're not a big uh, highball logging company uh, we're just you know small family-owned business and so we do things a little differently, but, you know, uh, it's such an important role that we play, I believe, uh, in doing what we, we do. And, uh, you know, because we believe in adding value and building community and uh, working with other people. Because, to be honest with you, if it wasn't for the community and the people and my customers and my clients, none of this would be possible. And I want to thank everybody for their continued support, their continued, uh, you know, patronage, you know, um, you know, we appreciate it, what everybody does for us. And so if you like what you see today, and if you like uh, this video, uh, please let me know. And uh, remember, uh, if you need anything uh, for force management, uh, fire mitigation, uh, consulting uh, forester services, um, or force products, Within the San Luis Valley, give us a call, 719-850-2095. Uh, you can also email us at LegacyForestCO at gmail.com. Uh, LegacyForestCO is all one word, uh, all lowercase. And uh, But thank you for watching today. I appreciate what you guys do. Um, been really busy with life. I don't have, uh, you know a lot of time to dedicate to videos these days um so i want but i wanted to make a video um you know to thank you thank my uh customers my clients and also describe to the general public uh what we do as a uh, force management company uh and thanks for watching today uh, i appreciate it and we will see you guys next time